Well, hello everybody. I am Jay Leonard J. Today we are checking out the L1 Pro 32 by Bose. Well, if you've had your eyes on the page recently, you might notice that I have done a video on the L1 Pro 8, which is actually the smaller version of this. Well, today we got the flagship. This is of the entire L1 series, the top of the line stuff. This is the L1 Pro 32. Now compared to uh, the 16 and the Pro 8, the 32 is gonna have a lot more room coverage, uh, better frequency response, and just overall really intense power. With the 32, the setup is still really simple with the two tower parts snapping onto the mixer at the bottom. And finally, all that's left is just hooking up the submatch locking cable to connect both the audio and power to the subwoofer. There are two different subwoofers you can choose between when you're using this line array. Uh, there is the sub one and the sub two. Right now I got the sub one, which is just a little bit more portable, a little bit lighter uh, than the sub two. And keep in mind, you can actually piggyback multiple subwoofers or use them independently from the line array. So if you have a already existing PA system, you can actually just connect that directly to that system. As you can tell with something like this, it's very small, it's very lightweight, uh, very lean. Uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna try to figure out some things to do with it in terms of a solo songwriter kind of situation. And then we'll also try to set it up in an ensemble situation to see exactly how it can make your life a lot easier. Let's get into it. So let's approach this unit like I'm a singer songwriter. I don't wanna bring a lot of gear to my gig. So I'm gonna bring this, my acoustic and a microphone. No preamps, no EQs for the guitar, no mixer. Uh, this is how we do it. On the floor of this unit, there are three inputs. Uh, each one has its own volume and EQ knob. Two of them have a reverb that I can play with as well. I could control all those parameters with the touch button knob, which is on the floor, or I can use this over here, which is uh, the little iPad app, which makes my life <laughs> So much easier. I could recall presets, I could save presets, and I can do all my adjustments while walking around the room just to make sure my EQ is perfect. So uh, right now I got my voice in one and I got my acoustic in two. So let's hear what my acoustic sounds like. Wow, I'm at performance level right now, so I'm definitely feeling it in the room. Uh, there is a global EQ, I have it set to live right now, and I'm plugged directly from the guitar into the L1. Let's go play with the EQ, I'm gonna add a little bit of treble. And take a little bit of the bass away. Last but not least, add just a touch of reverb for space. Now that we got the guitar figured out, let's go move over to the microphone in channel one. Oh, here it is. This is what my voice sounds like through the microphone. I could use the EQ here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm gonna use the tone match. Uh, they actually came up with a bunch of different EQ curves for a variety of different things. And it just so happens, if you look here in the tone match setting, they actually have one for a beta 58, which I have it set to. So all I have to do is just press the tone match button, and all of a sudden, the microphone is set up perfectly for a beta 58. I don't have to do anything. Maybe let's just add a little bit of reverb. And there you go. I got myself a whole setup. <laughs> in a minimal amount of time, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Hanging in the treetop all day long, hopping and a popping and singing a song. All little buddies on J. Bird Street, wanna hear the rock and go tweet, tweet, tweet. Hey, rock and roll, I'm gonna really gonna rock tonight. The one thing that makes this unit very, very different than a standard PA speaker is that it uses a line array of speakers all the way, all the way down to the bottom. A similar kind of system that you would see all, like in a rock arena when you're at a rock concert, that line array of sound. And what that does is it keeps the sound very, very even throughout the room. What I'm hearing up close is gonna be very similar in tone and volume as what I'm gonna hear in the back. 
If I had like a 15 inch monitor pointed right at my face at gig volume, my, like my ears would explode. But with this thing, I can go really close to it and use it as a personal monitor. Put this thing behind the band. What the band is hearing on stage is what the audience is gonna hear. And that is crazy and a little bit of a trip. Check this out. I got my phone here hooked up Bluetooth to it. I'm just gonna play like a backing track. Right. Now, if you look at my app, I have the volume very, very loud. This is actually very loud. If you're in the back of the room, you're gonna be ready to bump. But because of the fact that we're using a line array, I can pretty much put my ear right up to the very, very speaker. And it's gonna be completely fine. I'm not going to blow my ears out and the tone's gonna be nice, consistent, and even, so I could just jam out and play. Obviously, the Pro 32 is gonna be able to handle things if you're a DJ or if you're a singer-songwriter, but it really shines because of its extra power when you're using it to bolster your ensemble. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put together a little bit of a mini trio here. Uh, it's going to be me, Jason Nickel on the bass, Jason Bass, and Johnny Halisco, the break monster himself, on the drums. Uh, the way we're going to get everything patched in, my vocals are going to go into line one. Uh, the bass and guitar are going to go through my GT1000 into line three, and we are only miking the kick drum. The kick is going into line two. The L1 is in the very, very back of the room, so it's going to be shooting all the sound to us and to all of you out there. I have a room mic to capture the sound as well as a little bit of the line out blended in from the L1. And we're going to see if the bass and the guitar and the vocals could handle playing in the same room with that drum set. Let's get to work. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Pro 32, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews funded by the Patreon supporters on Patreon, and I do my demos and tutorials, everything else right here on YouTube. I want to thank Johnny Halisco, the break monster, Jason Nickel, Jason Bass, for coming in and helping me out with this video. That being said, I will see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.